Lifetimeofdopefighthead.com here with Jamel Herring. How you feeling, brother? I'm good, bro. It's crazy, crazy, crazy atmosphere, but it's good to be. It's good to be in the mix. What do you know about the um? I can never pronounce his name properly. Um, the person that Shakur Oh, I, yeah. I, I actually um, I commentated one of his fights. His, well, his last fight, okay. um, a few months ago. Um, you know, he's a slow starter, slow starter, but um. <clears throat> He can, he can be technical and, and he got he basically he, he you can tell he got heavy hands. You know what I mean? Is there anything you think he could do to give Shakur any type of problems? Man? I think I think his best his his um you know his not, well his best his best trait to um, for Shakur is probably his um activities. You know cause, cause he he can be busy he can be busy once he gets the engine running. You know what I mean? Like again he'll he'll start out slow, but then when, when he gets things going, you know he um he apply he, he applies a lot of pressure, but smart pressure. You know, I remember just before you fought, um, you fought Carl Frampton. You had a fight before that, and if you didn't win that oh, fight, yeah, yeah if, you, fight. if you didn't win that fight, you weren't going to get the Carl Frampton right, fight. Right, exactly. It's, it's like the same thing with Shakur. You know, right. he's, he's trying to fight the winner between Tank and Ryan or um, Devin Haney and Lomachenko. I mean, so it's, he has to stay yeah, focused. it's like that with every fight. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to get the bigger fights, you got to win. You got to win and beat whoever's in front of you. But yeah, definitely, it's a lot. There's a lot on the line. Like I said, it's a WBC eliminator for Shakur. Um, Obviously, he wants the um, the Haney, the um, the Haney Lomachenko winner, uh, Tank, uh, you know, what I'm saying Tank Garcia as well. So there's a lot, there's a lot riding on his fight with Shakur. And I, but I believe he's on, he's focused. Like I said, we spoke in the past um, during his camp, and you know, he seemed to be right on track where he wants to be at. Who are you giving the edge to between um, Devin and Lomo? Who do you expect to win that fight? Um, well, I'm giving I'm giving the edge um, to to Devin in terms of in terms of because of you. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't have as much battle scars on him as Lomachenko, but you can never look past Lomachenko, especially if um, what he brings to the table and his experience and skill set. Do you think that um do you think that um it's likely that Devin will fight Shakur? Or do you think he is kind of a big guy? He will move up to hundred percent. I don't I don't I don't know. If if um I, uh, the only way I see it and it's nothing it's nothing against the man, but like like you know, Devin, he, he's 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 basically filling out and growing. He's still growing, and he, he has expressed about moving to um 140. But the only way the only way I, I see it happen is if, if like again, Shakur say wins this fight this weekend, and they force the um the mandatory. You know, saying the same and, and, and basically in a similar fashion that I was put to um Shakur. You know, like I said, he was a mandatory. He he deserved he deserved the right, and you know he, he had to fight. So I, I see the same thing, but it, only if Devin Haney decides though to stay at 135 to make that fight. Gotcha. And just last question, man. If they if they were to fight, I know that's an extremely close fight to call, right. man. But who do you think would end up? It's hard. It's hard to get. It's hard to bet against Crow. It's mm -hmm. hard to bet. But I like Devin. I like Devin a lot, man. Of course, I'm a, I'm, I got, I'm gonna pick Crow. He beat me. You know what I'm saying? I, and I don't consider myself no slouch. You know what I'm saying? Like I was a champion in my own right, but now, nah, like me. It's just hard, like, what? like you know, scores one of the, like one of the hardest people to even land a punch on. I mean, Devin Haney has good, great defensive skills as well, but you know, it's, it's just like Shakur, it's, it's, it's just different in areas. But again, Devin's a big boy, and um, he got he got the length, he got the reach, and he he, he can box his ass off too. Gotcha. Appreciate you, brother. No Thank problem. you. Man.